Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So we are still working on the same step in our uh, in scikit-learn, so that's still getting our data ready. Now we're going to be doing the second step of that, which is converting our data into numerical values. So we're going to be using a different data set for this, and it's going to be um, uh, slightly longer because there's a bit more effort in it. So let's start. So here I am at the pro, uh, pro Jupyter notebook. So um, this is the Jupyter notebook that well we uh, it, that we ended off last time. Okay, so um, what we did last time is I believe we s learned how to split our data into features and labels, and I added that um, newly by the way. So don't worry about that. And also, just one more thing, I added a data folder to put all our um, CSV files. So this, we're going to be using this car sales.csv today. I didn't want to use stationary cells because that was um, a bit, you, couldn't, you can't really work with it that well. So we're going to be using a new one called car sales.csv and it has about 1000 lines. Okay, so that's pretty long, but we need that for machine learning. Okay, so so uh, so as i told you what we're going to do today is we're going to be converting non-numerical values into numerical values okay so it's also called feature encoding and you might hear this uh throughout the video so let's start so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add markdown to our jupyter notebook so i'm going to say 1.1 or basically the first step so we're still doing some python indexing here so 1.1 make sure all the data is numerical okay so the first thing whoops let me turn that into a markdown cell there we go so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to obviously have to import it so we're going to say car sales is equal to okay so <laughs> that did not go well so let me just delete that there you go so what we're going to do is i'm going to say car sales is equal to pd dot read csv so it's the same procedure procedure um so i'm going to index to my data file so if we do put it in a separate file this is how you can index to it so just press data uh, type in data and then it is a um, forward slash okay so data forward slash and then car sales dot csv um, and then we're going to view the head because car sales is very long so I'm going to say car sales dot head and there we go so this one has the make of the car so there's honda bmw uh, all of the makes of the cars and then it's got the colors now obviously these two are words and well these are numerical so we'll be working towards converting these into words not, not into words into non uh, numerical values so basically numbers so as i told you it was 100 lines long and well um so we're gonna check that so the length we're gonna say length of car sales um and that is 1000 okay so if we check car sales dot d dot d dot d types then what we will find is the make is an object and color is an object so we need to change these objects into either int 64 or float 32 now you can't see this here but float 32 is basically a decimal number okay so we are going to have to first uh we you might be thinking we're gonna convert it first but actually we're going to split it into features and um features and labels and then we're going to do training and test sets and then we're going to try um fit the data to the model to see if it does work and what the error is so first we're going to split the data 
into x, y, so features and labels. X is features and y is labels. So x would basically be these first four columns here and y would be this one. Okay, so um, so yeah, we're going to split into those. So you're going to say x is equal to car sales dot drop. Um, we're going to drop the price column um, because we don't want that in our um, features matrix. So we're going to say x is the, uh, is equal to so car sales dot drop price. X is equal to one. So we only want to drop a column. Um, we don't want to drop any rows because there is no row called price. So we're going to say y is equal to car sales. Um, car sales price um, so yeah now we have our X and Y we can split it into training and test set so let's write split it into training and test set so how do we do that we did this in the previous video so we go X train X test Y train, um, Y test, and then we're going to say it's equal to train, test, split. So remember, it splits our data to training and test sets. So the first parameter is the features matrix. So that's X, and then we have Y, and then we have the test size so we want this to be 20% of the whole data set so 0 0.2 so now what we sh we're going to do is we're going to build our machine learning model so we're going we're not going to be using the random forest classifier model that I used in the second video of our scikit-learn series so that's where i demonstrated a end-to-end -end scikit learn workflow so i'm not going to be using random forest classifier we're going to be using a random forest model but it's not going to be random forest classifier so from sklearn dot ensemble import random forest regressor okay so we have random forest classifier and random forest regressor. Those are the two models we have discovered so far. So we are going to say model, so not CLF. But we're not going to be using it like that, model, because that's the general way you will see it being used. We, you would generally see model, not CLF. Um, and by the way, we use CLF in the second video of the series. So model is equal to random forest regressor and then put brackets at the end don't forget those so we're going to say model dot fit we want to fit it to the x train so our training data and y train um, and then after that we're going to say model dot score x test and y test Okay, so obviously that will give us an error. So it says convert, cannot convert string to float Toyota, okay? Because um, it tried to do Toyota and well, it did not work. So that isn't working. So now, um, since that value error has come, what we want to do is we want to turn the categorical values, which are basically these words, into numerical values which are numbers so we're going to have to do um quite a few bits of code here so first we're going to import some some libraries so from sklearn dot preprocessing import one hot encoder okay it sounds a bit funny but uh, it, it, it it does not really do now uh, what you think it might do so basically here it says encoder so what I meant by you might hear at the start I said you might hear this word uh, I meant like this so encoder so what do you think it will do 
Well, this one will probably, if I told you at the start, here it says, um, if you scroll up a bit up, it says converting non-numerical values into numerical values, also, also co called feature encoding. So basically, what this might do is it might actually turn it into non-numerical values. But that's not the only um, library we need. We need from sklearn, from sklearn, import so not only sklearn actually so from sklearn dot compose import column transformer now this one's uh, probably quite easy to guess what it does so first we're going to create a list of our categorical um features so categorical features so we're going to make that a list. So it's equal to. So we one categorical feature is make and then color. And then we're also going to put doors. Let me put that in a string. So doors. Now, um, you may be thinking why. So basically, um, where, are we, where are we? So basically, you know, doors over here. Um, it's actually just a normal number. I, I was thinking we could turn that into a float 32 along with these two as well um, because it did sort of make a bit sense because these are really big. You don't need them in a float 32, but um, these ones would be a bit better if they were in float 32 um, format. So we're going to turn those into float 32 as well. Um, so data type float 32. That basically means a decimal number, as I said before. So we're going to say, after that, we're going to say one hot is equal to one hot encoder. So that's our one hot encoder done. And then we're going to create a transformer is equal to column transformer. And uh, we need to pass in quite a lot of confusing parameters here. So we want to pass in a list of tuples okay so list of tuples right here so um first sort of parameter in our uh, in our tuple is what we want to call our uh, transformer so i'm gonna call mine one hot like one hot encoder and then it's uh, we need to put in the actual one hot encoder so that's one hot over there and then we need to pass in our categorical features. So it makes sense why you made it into a list. Um, so let me just align this. There we go. Now, um, now uh, after we have done that list, we're going to put a remainder. And basically this means like the remainder of the um, the remainder columns like um, a domita over here because it will automatically pass this through. Um, what should we do with those? So we're gonna say pass through because we don't want it to do anything to our domita column. We're going to we want to keep it as it is. So now we're gonna create a transformed. Uh, we're gonna create a transformed x now. So our transformed X will basically be, um, if I just go above, so let's check out X dot head. So our transformed X will be basically uh, all of these columns as numerical values, if they need to be at least. So transformed X is equal to transformer dot fit transform and then x okay uh, so we're gonna view our transformed x now so that looks very confusing so um, let us look at it uh, as a pandas data frame so we're gonna say pd dot data frame uh, capital letters so pd dot data 
frame um, is and then what we need to do is we need to pass in our transformed x so there it still does look quite confusing so to explain how feature encoding works i have made a diagram so if i show you okay so basically um here we have a one hot encoder so how it works so let's say we have this uh column over here so basically that says uh so the make there's nissan honda toyota bmw and toyota and then colors blue red green red green so if um if you could visualize one hot encoding this is how it would look like so nissan would be nissan and red so what it would do to the color is it would choose it will put all the colors that have been shown into columns like this and then it will put a one to the color it actually is so blue there would be a one under blue and a zero under red and green and then for red there'd be a one under red and a zero under green and blue so that is how you could visualize it so let's actually see it again so um yeah so um, now that we have uh now that you have visualized it you can also visualize it using pandas instead um i think that would actually be much easier okay so let me just quickly do this there we go so uh yeah it'd be much easier if you could view it now this um now we're gonna say dummies i don't uh dummies is equal to pd dot get dummies so i personally do not know why it's called get dummies it sounds a bit weird but um we'll just get on with it so dummies is equal to pd dot get dummies car sales so we're going to pass in a list of our categorical values so make color and then does okay and then we can view dummies and there we go so this is how you would you could visualize it in jupyter notebook as well so make bmw uh, so the first one would be honda so let's actually just view our x over here so the first one would be honda so they would put a one under honda and the color is white so uh white would be the color here um and then same if you try to compare all of them here let's just put x dot head actually there we go so now that we have done that we can refit the model now so um so i'm gonna write let's refit the model so what we have to do is we're gonna set a random seed so mp dot random dot seed 42 just to uh, make sure the numbers don't go crazy here so we're gonna say we're going to have to create the train and test sets all over again because we have we now have our transformed x over here so we're going to have to do it again so x train x test y train and y test is equal to train test split so instead of passing in x we're going to pass in transformed x and then we're going to pass in y and again we're going to pass in the test size as 0.2 so it is 20 percent um of the actual data set okay um and then we're gonna fit our data to the model so fit our training data specifically so model.fit x train y train so you run that name train test is not okay so if we put i put a comma instead 
there we go so now that it is done that we'll just put this there we go now that's gone so now that we have done that we can score our model so model dot score we're going to score on x test x test and y test so this is our testing data so that's actually not too bad this score over here is not too bad because what we, i was actually aiming for here was so given this these three these four columns i was we were, uh what i was going to do is i was going to i was going to try and make our machine learning predict a machine learning model predict the price given this four columns over here so this score isn't actually bad because uh, i don't think anyone would be able to predict it like that so now we have learned how to convert it into non-numerical values we should know how to fill up any gaps in our data now this data does not have any gaps in it at all but just in case if there was we'd want to do that so that is all for today if you like this video please like and subscribe uh, that would really help and if you have any doubts please comment them in the comment section below that would be really helpful and i guess that's the end of this video bye